Hey guys, Chris here. Uh, I wanted to show um, any really beginner um, who's interested in podcasting how to create a basic podcast um, in GarageBand. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm not going to go into super in-depth in terms of uh, adjusting levels and things like that. Um, just basically, if anybody wanted to talk into a microphone, create a podcast, maybe put an audio track on it, uh, I wanted to show you how to do that. And it's actually pretty simple. So um, I'm working off of, obviously, a Mac and uh, using GarageBand, the, the latest version of GarageBand. So um, the thing with this new version is there used to be a uh, option that would say, um, uh, you know, podcasting specifically. For some reason, they got rid of that. So um, basically, I'm going to show you what, what you'll be doing now. It's not too difficult here. Um, so basically, you're going to open GarageBand. Pull it up here, um, and it's probably going to open uh, a podcast I've been working on here. Um, so let me just get out of here so you can see the new, um, this is what is going to be the default when it pops up. Um, now there is a voice option here, um, but I don't like using it because when it brings it up, you'll see it loads up all these um, uh, other tracks, and which really if you're doing a podcast, you only probably need one if it's just you. If it's multiple people, you may need a couple if you have a mixer. Um, when we record our podcast, we actually use a, a Yeti microphone, so we just... Uh, record all of us on that so we just need the one track um, you can get rid of it by hitting command delete and that'll get rid of them if you want to um, your call um, and that gets you back to the default setting but normally what I do is when I open a new project I just say empty project um, you can see from a previous recording uh, that we use the Yeti stereo microphone um, I'm actually using for this a uh, fast track USB microphone so that would be my audio input um, if you're just recording from your computers uh, input microphone it would be built-in microphone so simple as that um, so you're gonna select empty project you're gonna hit choose empty or open up a empty project here nothing in there um, so what you're gonna want to do is select uh, to record using a microphone or line input um, now if you have this checked uh, it's gonna play out what you're saying through whatever your output is um, I plug in headphones whenever I record a podcast, so I always have built-in output so I can hear what I'm saying in my headphones. Um, if you don't have headphones plugged in and it's coming out of your uh, internal speakers, it's going to cause a weird echo and probably some crazy feedback. So just make sure if you have this checked that you have some headphones plugged in. Um, and then obviously it's got what instrument is connected with. I'm using Fast Track for my microphone, so that's uh, just whatever you're using to record. Um, if you're using your built-in audio, this would say... Uh, built-in microphone so uh, have this microphone selected and you're gonna hit create it's gonna create a uh, basic uh, track here and the old garage band at least on my iMac for some reason here it would also say uh, like legacy I think and it would bring up the old um, uh, inputs that you could select uh, or filters for your voice there's actually one specifically for podcasting which um, I haven't used since we started our, our podcast so um, this is probably going to be the default thing that you see pull up um, so you have your track it's empty nothing going on uh, I go ahead and just deselect account in um, and metronome you don't need that for your audio uh, unless you're speaking on time which is probably impressive um, so a lot of times what I do is I'll select voice and then I do tracking vocal uh, and then what I do, because this defaults to uh, bring up a lot of uh, reverb, so I'll go view, smart controls, and I just go ahead and bring the reverb down so there's not so much of a uh, like echo and, and uh, tunnel sound going on. So that's just, just me. Um, it gets a pretty good sound, I think. So uh, anyway, you can hide the smart control. So here's your default vocal track now. Um, pretty simple from here. Um, one thing I do change before any podcast before I start recording is I go up here and I click and change this to time because I like to know how long. Normally our podcasts go for about an hour. So recording this to see from uh, the time standpoint compared to beats, I can exactly know how much time we've been podcasting, uh, talking for. And I normally kind of wrap it up around the 55 minute mark, uh, give or take. So we have our track here. You can see it's picking up my sound. Um, I have headphones in right now so I can hear what I'm saying. Um, unfortunately, with screen flow, uh, there's an issue where it's not gonna, you're not going to hear what I'm saying when I record this, but uh, you know that's not really a big deal here. So, um, so we have the track set up, and then you're going to hit record, and you're going to start talking. You can say, hey, this is, for our instance, Rock Paper Podcast episode 357. I wish we got that far so far. We're only on episode 30, but uh, you can see it's tracking my vocals. 
um, and you just talk and you perform your podcast here, you know, whatever, it's just an interview, you just talk uh, for as long as you're going to talk for. Um, I normally do that as the first point, so let's just say I'm done with my podcast, done talking. So here's um, my podcast, it's all recorded, um, you can drag it to different points, and this is kind of important because for like our podcast, I always have, we have an intro song. So um, let's just say you wanted to bring a, an audio, like a song into for your intro, maybe you have a specific song. Um, so you'd go and pull that from wherever it's gonna be. Um, ours is, uh, I have a folder specifically set up for our podcast, um, just so I can find it. So let's just say, this is our theme song, I'm gonna pull it in. Just click, drag, and you can just actually drop it. It'll create a track, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, you're basically just pulling an MP3 into it. Uh, don't wanna do that. Um, if you ever mess up, you can hit Command Z, and that'll undo. Just a fun fact. So uh, I normally bring you know the the audio to the beginning, and then uh, we'll listen to it and put my tracking vocal wherever I want to start it into the podcast. So uh, so let's just say the intro starts, it plays through the intro song, and then it kind of fades up into my tracking vocal uh, for the interview or podcast, whatever kind of format your podcast is. Um, so really. That's it, um, and then uh, you know you can go in and you can you know click on the track and you can hit view and you can do some art controls if you want to add um, ambience, reverb again, uh, turn up echo, turn down echo, mess with all these things. You can do that. Um, I'm not going to go super specific because there's a lot more editing you can kind of go in and do. But this is just for somebody who wanted to record their voice uh, and be able to you know make a podcast out of it. This is just a simple beginner's guide essentially. So we have our podcast here. You can always rename these if you want. So let's just say I want to change this to podcast vocal. If I could spell, that'd be awesome. Uh, podcast vocal, holy cow. And then this one's already a theme song, but you can always adjust it to say something different, you know, intro theme, whatever you want. So um, you can adjust those. Um, and again, if you're not liking the sound, you can always go back and adjust different uh, uh, settings on it, but again, I always use tracking vocals, which is kind of nice. So, um, so say you're going to save it. This is just going to save the GarageBand file. Um, let's just save it to my desktop here. Um, let's just do test, save it. So now, if you minimize it here, you'll see here's your GarageBand file. Um, but this isn't actually an MP3 version. You're going to have to export it uh, as an MP3. So you're going to go up here and hit share. Now you can send the song to iTunes if you're making a ringtone. Uh, or if you're exporting to SoundCloud, I prefer just to create the MP3 onto my desktop, and then if I'm going to upload it to SoundCloud or Libsyn or anywhere, um, I do that for my own own version. So you're going to hit just ultimately export song to disk, and you can see down here what if you want it to AAC, MP3, AIF. I do um, MP3. You can choose the quality. I normally just keep it at medium. Again, uh, as you get more kind of a experience with it you can see what you like if you want it to be the highest quality but i believe the file size is bigger uh, if you're working for um if you upload your your podcast through something like Libsyn and you only have so much space um allowed a month to upload your podcast you know they could the bigger they get they could uh, kind of affect you towards the end of the month if you only have uh, a few megs of uh, space left and you know your podcast exceeds that you won't be able to upload it so um so basically you just name it let's just say podcast episode one and you can save it wherever you want to I'm just gonna save it to my desktop uh, again it says an mp3 you export it and now it goes through the process of uh, bouncing it and the longer it is the longer it will take uh, I know once it hits about uh, 90 minutes there becomes an issue so if you can kind of keep your podcast less than that it's always a good idea plus podcast is really hard to listen to a podcast that's probably in over an hour I would say so uh, you go here, you can see your podcast episode is here, um, and then you just go into whatever service you have, if it's Slipson, SoundCloud, wherever you're hosting your podcast from, and uh, just upload that MP3. Um, I always find it smart to um, create a new folder. You'll kind of see how that, let me show you how I have mine set up, just for organizational purposes. Um, this is our podcast, and you can see I have it set up for episode files, and within that I have the GarageBand file, just for any reason I need to go back to it, as well as the actual MP3. Um, guest photos are in there for whatever reason if you want them uh, just things I've been messing with when we do mini episodes uh, music files for like the theme song things like that if you have any spot sponsorships and you have spots you know that they record again I do the same thing where you have the uh, the garage band file and the uh, mp3 
um, or just spots. Normally we do before each episode, the, the guests will say, hi, this is whoever you're listening to the Rock Paper Podcast. Um, we do that at the beginning as well. Um, so I just try and organize the best I can. So that way, as I'm going through, it kind of builds a little better uh, routine. I don't have to look for things. I know where everything's at. Um, and uh, it kind of helps create that podcast a little faster. So um, that's that's the gist of it. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, definitely comment. Um, I'm happy to try and help you out any way I can. Again, I'm in no means an expert at uh, sound, uh, audio, adjusting, you know, things like that. Um, there are some simple things you can look at to where if you're clipping, if you're seeing red in here, you can bring the, the volume down um, to where you're not hitting red, um, things like that. Uh, you can listen to single tracks like if you just wanted to listen to this single track when you hit play it would play it if you wanted to only listen to this one do the same thing or if you wanted to hear certain tracks you don't want to hear this one blocks out the audio um, and then one other cool thing that I really enjoy and just because I'm probably dumb just realized this not too long ago this notepad is really good if you're doing a podcast and you want to keep notes on who you're speaking with what questions you're going to ask because you can have this up and running while you're recording and, and use it as a reference so very highly recommend the notepad in GarageBand um, or if you mess up you can make, make a note of it right in there and say hey there's this crazy sound at 30 seconds in uh, make a note of it so if you're editing you can go back in and uh, adjust it so uh, I hope that's helped and I hope um this makes it simple for uh, any beginner to go and just create a podcast and uh, kind of get going on the the big uh, podcast kind of trend that's going because they're getting a lot more popular and they're really fun to do. So um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to and help you with it any way I can. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe.